Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and tonight we're going to do a um, colored pencil piece. I don't know if it's going to be mixed media or not. Probably not. I have a new set of Prismacolor pencils that I picked up this weekend. A little 24 set of the soft core um, colored pencils. I want to give them a whirl. I figured since I'm... I went ahead and sharpened them all. Um... I'll set them over here, put them out of the box, so that we can see what we have. And I put them in rainbow order because that's that's how I prefer them to be. Um, it's a pretty good selection of pencils. We're not going to use all the colors tonight, of course, but um, I'm under this little owl, which I sketched in with my Zebra M301 technical pencil, um, 0.5 millimeter, which is my favorite technical pencil right now, and uh, needed eraser for, you know, mistakes. But I figured we would go ahead and, <coughs> sorry, color this little guy in. Um, he is adorable, in my opinion. I'm going to soften that darker graphite right there. And I'm going to get his, I want to start with his eyes, the yellowy golden eyes. Just a little layer of yellow. These are nice. I've never used um, Prismacolor colored pencils. I just bought a set of Castle Art ones and I've wanted Prismacolor ones and um, uh, the Derwin Inktense color pencils. I really want those too. This is Canary Yellow. And we'll go over the top of it with this Spanish Orange. And get that darker a little bit of deep orange in there. Like so. I love drawing owls. They're a favorite um, go-to, any kind of bird really, but owls are fun. I'll put gold on top, maybe a little more yellow. To kind of blend that, blend it out a little bit. Make it more bright. And the paper I'm using is um, this Legion 100% cotton uh, paper. It came in an art box. It is 250 GSM, acid free, and it was 15 sheets. Uh, I really like this paper. It's it's nice, and I I, mean, I only have two sheets left, so we're gonna we're gonna use those up in the next couple of videos. Do some some nice little pieces. Um. That's good for the eyes. And I'm going to get in here with, um, what's this? A dark brown. And get in some of these softer details. Actually, I want to. This is supposed to be like one of the best whites too. Lindsay Warwick of the Frugal Crafter really likes her white in Prismacolor. She will even grab it out um, and use it with other colored pencils to get her whites and, and the nice bright white over other mediums. She's, she swears by that colored pencil. So, good to know, right? Get this little eye in here. I don't know why, but I really don't feel like using black, strictly black, on this piece. And this dark brown, I believe, will read dark enough. little bit of sassy I am some of the 
the dashes and dots of his little face. And he's a baby owl, it looks like, running in the grass. I don't remember where I snagged this photo from. I just thought it was super funny. So I, I saved it onto my computer ages and ages ago. If anyone knows where it came from, you can drop it in the comments below. But I thought he was super cute at the time, so I, I've been um, really wanting to draw him and I ran across him tonight and I was like, oh, I can do him. Look how saucy and cute he is. I mean, he looks miffed, but that's the funny part. This little furry fuzzball looking all peeled at the world. And that he's mostly white. This would be a pretty quick piece on this paper for us to to do. Um, let's see. I might go in with some um, black afterwards, where I want it to be super dark. We'll see. Oh, that's crazy little furs. I think I want to get some of this. What is this one? This one is goldenrod. Just for a little bit of added interest. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Do a little And a technique of colored pencil is to do tiny circles and I don't know that's supposed to help with your like layering and get you a nice smooth color I guess. I'm new to colored pencil. Um, as a medium to use on its own. I don't very often do a full colored pencil piece, mostly because they take forever. But this is more of a little, little sketch, right? See this little frowny lip bend right here. And there. And we have has a little weird coming down off his face like that yeah how's that look oh he's adorable he's a little adorable saucy little thing that's my phone clicking off Drop in this golden color, this golden rod here and there. I don't really have a soft white, like a soft, there's not a lot of color um, choices with 24 sets. Um, I think this is effective, right? I was looking to see if there was a, like, peachy white color, but there's not. There. I'm just going over where the sketch lines are for his little teensy self, for all of his little fluffy feathers 
like that. The pigment goes down really nice with these so far. Um, these are Lindsay's favorite um, colored pencils next to the um, Derwent Ink Tents, which is what she uses for her permanent pieces. I'm dying to get the Derwent Ink Tents pencils. Um, well, not dying, but I would really like them. They're a little pricey, though, for right now. Can't justify the expense at this particular point. Maybe in, in the next month or so. I need to book my trip to go see my kids and grandkids, which is why I'm, I'm waiting on spending money on any big ticket items. Once I'm going back and forth with the goldenrod and the brown, I'll add a little rounder right there. Just a squish rounder. There we go. That's better. Yep. Golden rod again for the top. Um, yeah, it's been too long since I've <coughs> gone back to Washington to see the kids and grandkids. For me, it's it's been too long for me and them. They want me to come home, but. Uh, the job change and life stuff has prohibited that action from actually happening. So I'm going to go back for Christmas this year because I don't want to do Christmas away from them for a third year. Um, I think I want to... Soften that back out, or should I try to erase it? Got it a little too big right there. Pack over with the. There we go. Do we have enough glow on our eyes? Do are they glowing? Does he have glowing eyeballs? I've always felt like owls have eyes that just glow and are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Get that and then I'll go back in with the golden rod. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go spend time with the kids and grandkids over. I think I'm gonna go um, the 18th through the 30th, so that I can really enjoy my time there. Let's see. Astrid Estelle is already a year old, and in, in a couple of days she'll be a year old. Um, I was there for her birth, which was amazing. I got to hold her when she was a little teensy bit. And, uh, yeah. Miss, Miss, um... Being able to see the kids and the grandkids on a daily basis or a weekendly, a weekendly basis. Get the tips of those feathers, those baby baby bird feathers. Like that. So I am <clears throat> super excited to, to be able to go, go see them over the holiday and I get to go shopping. I'm looking forward to going like Christmas shopping with the girls and hanging out and eating meals together and catching up in a general sense. Let's see. 
feathery textures he has, kind of everywhere. Because he's just a little poof ball. Just a little teensy poof ball. And Gloria and Joey are turning, my other grandchildren are turning um, four and six this year, so, um, next, next year I want to be able to be there for all the birthday parties, so I'm going to be doing my next trip, um, <clears throat> in May, June, and I'll book that when I get back from this trip, so that it's you know, all taken care of and I don't have to think about it. I would like to know for sure if I can move back before that, but um, in, in the instance that I can't, I want my trips to be booked and paid for. Um, I probably won't be able to move back until after their birthdays, till the, the summertime. But I don't want to miss out on birthdays again. So that is the thought pattern there. I'm super looking forward to Christmas though with the kids. It's been too long, too long, too long. Just getting in the dark brown and going over it with this a goldenrod color for his little tips of his feathers right there the darker tips there we go Kind of dropping in the textures of those poofy feathers. Yeah, all right, and a little bit of goldenrod on top. Kind of blend it out here and there. I mean, he's mostly white, but I feel like this adds a bit of interest to the piece. Just quickly drop in those textures like that. Okay, then I think I want to take the white, the white, kind of over the top and make him look soft and fuzzy. using a whole lot of pressure either, which is nice. I want there to be like a fuzzy white halo around it before I put that background green color in. I'll do a little bit of green blue background. So maybe it'll act as like a little bit of a resist when I get that far. We're liking that. Maybe we'll just do a little close up of his little face. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, it's 
been, it's only Tuesday, what is today? Is it Monday? Oh, it's only Monday. <laughs> she says in a discouraged tone. Um, it's Monday, uh, May 2nd. Um, and Mother's Day falls on my birthday this year, so, um, probably gonna call my mom and see if she wants to go out to breakfast or shopping or something for Mother's Day. fuzzes it out, makes it look unfocused and fuzzy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my mom, but really don't, it's a terrible thing to say out loud, I really don't want <coughs> to go anywhere next weekend. I wanted to stay home and chillax. But I'll probably message her tonight or tomorrow and see if she wants to go to Home Depot because I do need plants for the patio. Um, and I usually do get a bunch of them on Mother's Day weekend. Like last year Mom and I went shopping for Mother's Day too. We went to Home Depot and got flowers for our patios and did some gardening. So maybe we'll do that again this year. If she's not working. Sometimes she has to work. Man, that wore down pretty quick. Alright, I am using kind of a lot of it too. Let's give it a quick sharpen. Here I can sharpen in, in frame. I have this fabulous sharpener that came in an art box that I absolutely love. It works amazing. It's the best sharpener I've owned in a long time. So, um, we got a letter from our uh, landlord about like it, everybody got the email, <coughs> an email letter to remind everyone about the rules of, you know, patio, summer patio, um, rules and regulations for the complex. Or, you know, not supposed to have vegetable gardens or bird feeders or anything crazy like that on our patios. Um, So that just reminded me that I need to pull my planters out and get my, my patio. I spend a lot of time out on my patio in the summertime. Get my patio up and uh, up and running, organized and whatnot, you know. There. Okay, that's enough white. And I think I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I'm going to do this apple green. Let's see how I like this. These are super soft. Like, buttery almost. Get some little grasses going down here. I'd like to just do a little soft blend on the background. Kind of out of focus a little bit. And just 
do a little, this goes down really nice. Like super soft. No presser, just kind of dragging the color around over the texture of the paper. It's really nice. And I would put bulbs in my pots, but last year <laughs> uh, the squirrels kept stealing my bulbs out of my out of my planters, the jerks. And I'm on the third floor. You wouldn't think that they would bother to climb all the way up here, but they do. Chased one off a couple of weeks ago. Well, it's been probably a couple months now. Um, there's that. Do a little very dark green and kind of put it on his little grasses down here. Give them a little oomph. Like that. darker than there. Okay, I'm going to get my Derwent's blender. Let's see, do I have enough color down to do this? I mean, you can put lots of color down if you want. And, uh, yeah. Really layer your colored pencils and get, um, that crazy, uh, realistic look to your piece. I mean, I don't recommend using a burnisher or a blender <coughs> this early on if you um, want to do subsequent layers, but I wanted this to be just a quick little practice piece. Just to get a feel for the pencils, for what they, what they, how they go down on the paper, and um, how soft they are, how much color payout you get, and, and kind of a lot. There's, to me, there feels like there's quite a bit of color payout. Well, just that little dusting of color, that's pretty intense. Um, color. I also um, tend to, uh, my favorite medium is watercolor, so I tend to lean more towards softer, more translucent colors. I'll go ahead and blend this. So my super vibrant colors tend to throw me off a little bit sometimes. I'm going to go through and just give this a quick blend on the whole page. I might time lapse this part because this takes kind of a long time to do.
Okay guys, we are all done with our drawing. I used my Derwent blender and I did, as you just saw in the time lapse, I went over the background with the, um, I forget what green it is, apple green and then over that with, blended it out and then went over it with white and blended it out and went over it with green again. Um, yeah, so I, I like the little drawing. I think he looks a little angry. <laughs> <laughs> but he's cute. Um, I actually wanted to do a little. Oh, that's uh, broken. That's annoying. Let's see. I want to do a little shadow on that beak and a little bit of black here and there on the eyes. But no. Here's a plane. Can you guys hear that? A little bit of black there. There, there. Yeah. Is that good? So, all right, I'm gonna stop fussing. I think he looks adorable. There he is, our cute little owl dude, running in the grass. What do you guys think? That's a cute little colored pencil piece, and these go down super buttery soft. If I had a textured, a more textured paper, I could get a bunch of different layers down. Um, maybe the next piece I'll do a, a more intricate, um, involved piece. But I enjoyed doing this, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!